Here are five teen brain facts from Genetically Speaking. Know that yelling is registered in the same part of the brain that mediates physical pain. So the brain feels angry yelling as if there was a physical injury to the body. So understand what is turning up your decibels. Sometimes parents yell at teens because they perceive them as hard to access, but hard to access could have many reasons worth exploring and healing. The outcome of yelling is access denied. So soften your tone. Remember yourself as a teen. What did you most need? Access comes through mutual respect and trust. Teens tend to inaccurately perceive negativity, anxiety, and anger in adult facial expressions. You might say, what time do you think you'll be home? And the teen brain may perceive that as anxiety and anger and respond, you don't trust me. Communicate with compassion in the face of defensiveness. The teen brain has more activity in the emotional limbic brain than in the front of the brain responsible for planning, problem solving, and self-control. If we can hold on to our prefrontal cortex while our teen reacts from his limbic brain, we can diffuse and decipher even the most complex emotional responses. As the sense of self evolves, a teen needs to feel seen, heard, and valued. If our teens don't feel seen, heard, and valued by us, if we're busy, distracted, emotionally absent, struggling with feeling seen, heard, and valued ourselves, they rely more heavily on their peers to fill the gap. Distraction is a roadblock to relationship. We can't see or move beyond it unless we remove it. When our teens are making a bid for attention, wanting to talk or share, undivide your attention, even for a few minutes. Teens don't want to be called grumpy, rude, moody, or crazy. They are riding the choppy waves of flux, just like us. Sometimes that indifferent look on their face really means, I'm trying to hold it all together because I'm afraid to look confused and scared. Making space for our teens to tell us how they really feel and listen without judgment helps support our kids through a tough time. This is a time of change and it helps preserve the bond that we have with our teenagers. Since the teen brain may tend to see negative before the positive, realize the immense connecting power of validation through shared interests. If he's in the basement wailing on the electric guitar, you may want to complain about the volume or style of music. Instead, comment on his playing first, connection first, ask about his favorite songs, talk about what he likes face to face, preferably over some good food, and then talk about behaviors later. Validate your teenager's passions. Catch each other's eyes, watch funny movies together, do parallel play. When you laugh, when you're watching a movie, you actually turn to look at each other. Do fun things every day to connect, engage, build that trust, and build the respect that you want with your teen, and your teen, in essence, will give that back to you. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.